Okay, I don't know how much charge is on this camera, uh, but we'll see because I haven't used this in like maybe three or four years. Okay, so what's going on guys? Garrett here, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed my first video. If you're here, then you probably did enjoy my first video. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, that's tagged down below. I put up a poll saying, would you guys wanna know about like my journey through videography and filmmaking and how I got to where I am today? Sort of my journey to success, not like success, but just where I am right now. So a lot of you guys answered and you seemed like you were very interested in that. So that's sort of what I'm gonna be doing today. Uh, that old guy in my rear view mirror is looking at me. I'm at the beach right now, so there may be some people in the background. I don't know. So basically, from where it started was ever since I was a little kid, I always had a camera in my hand. My family had these little video cameras for like home videos or like birthdays, family vacations, I guess. I used to like always love watching them back in when I was younger, uh, just seeing like how I was as a kid. I don't know. I just always loved videos. Just basically having a camera was really cool to be able to capture moments and look back at them. And we always had this camera and I always used it with like my dad like whenever we went out I always brought the camera and we did stuff someone hold on okay that was that was super weird someone just like was started to walk up to my car and then I turned around and they like walked away uh, that was weird anyways so back to what I was saying yeah I always just had a camera and my parents actually didn't trust me with the camera alone until I was 15 and that was when I got my first camera did I I didn't bring it with me today so it was this little basic camera it was the sx 530 hs it was like the little power shot ones it had like zoom uh, the zoom was actually really good i got some really good photos i'll put some right here i went to lacrosse games and like i i took photos like from the stands obviously i wasn't working for them but i got really good shots the zoom was insane i was like far away and it was like 200 times zoom or something so basically before i got this camera i had a little gopro like it was my family's but like i used it the most i was a little gopro like hero 4 silver so it had the little screen on the back it was like a really really cool camera uh, i used it when i was sailing like i used to be big into sailing and i always brought it with me out on the water always recorded videos i filmed like little vlogs when i was sailing like uh of my friends because i always used to go out sailing with my friends on these little 420 sailboats uh, we had like instructors and all this other stuff it was a good time uh in my town we have a maritime school and you can like sign up for sailing sessions it was really fun during that time, I also edited little videos with Windows Movie Maker because I didn't have like iMovie even or like Premiere Pro or any of that stuff. So I had like little Windows XP Movie Maker. I don't know if any of you guys remember that from way back when, but yeah, that's what I used. I know it's a meme right now, uh, but that's what I started out with. And then when I got my first little Mac computer, it was a uh, little MacBook Air, like one of the super old ones. Uh, I got iMovie. So I actually moved on to that and I just created little iMovie edits. I remember like the the default transitions and the text all that stuff you could totally tell it was from iMovie uh, I actually posted those edits that I made onto YouTube and I gained around like 350 subscribers like for a 15 year old I think that's pretty good uh, I made some pretty nice videos I gotta say for iMovie for what I was doing yeah I was just making videos in my free time not really thinking of it most of the stuff that I was doing was put on hold when I turned 16 my parents wanted me to start working obviously when you turn 16 you're legally able to start working they wanted me to find a job so I I got small jobs like washing cars yard work uh, even landscaping with my friend um, but when I turned 17, I got my first like actual job. It was at American Eagle Outfitters. If you're from my school, you definitely know like what I'm talking about. I worked there for a while. It was a pretty good job. I mean, it was minimum wage. It was 11, like 50 an hour. We got discounts on our clothes and we actually got like free outfits every month. So every month we like entered in some kind of thing and like we won like free outfits every month. It was really good, but it wasn't really for me. I wanted somewhere where I could like use my creativity and have fun and not work in like a dead end like job i didn't want to be sitting in a mall the place where american eagle was located it wasn't like an outlet it was more like a inside of a mall like a small store in a mall uh this mall was dead if you're from my school you know where i'm talking about the kingston mall it's super dead nobody comes in there it's all like weird people mall rats later on in the year i decided to actually quit this job at some point because i don't remember when it was but i decided to quit obviously it wasn't for me again i wanted to be in a job where i could use my creativity Activity and actually like have fun in what I was doing and I get it it's a job you're not supposed to have fun you're supposed to make money and support yourself but I felt like I could do something where I could both make money and have fun at the same time so what I did was I quit American Eagle and I took all the money that I made 
and spend it on my first like actual camera. And that was the Sony a7 III, which I have right now. And I got a lens with it was the 24 to 70. So again, it was a kit lens. It wasn't that good of a lens, but it, it came with a camera. So I used it and made it work any way I could. And I basically went out and shot photos just for fun to get my sort of thing started. For Christmas, my family actually saw that I was using my camera a lot and I was actually like getting pretty good shots with it. And they asked me like if I was actually serious on doing this kind of stuff. I told them, yeah, like this is super fun to go out and take photos like I think I want to do in the future. And they got me a really nice 18 to 105 lens. Now this lens is a couple hundred dollars. It's a really nice lens. It's a 18 to 105 focal length. Uh, it's an F4. It's a G Master. So it's one of the more expensive lenses on the market. I can do a whole gear bag video later on. But yeah, basically I got a 24 to 105 or an 18 to 105 aside from my 24 to 70. So I got this for Christmas and later on in that like season in the winter and the hockey team was still playing. It was like their playoff games. And so I contacted the coach and I was like, hey, do you guys like maybe want a video or two to like promote your team? And I sat down with him and he said, yeah, that would be awesome. And so this is like the start of me being paid for sports videos. So this is the first sports video that I've ever done. Uh, I don't have it with me like saved anymore. It was a long time ago. Uh, but yeah, so with the Duxbury hockey team, it was the first one I ever created. And I did a couple for them at a couple games. Uh, I actually got paid for that season and they ended up going to the garden and they ended up winning the state championship with the which was super cool but i couldn't go uh to the garden game because i didn't have the proper credentials i couldn't get in all that stuff I got paid a couple hundred dollars for that whole season even though i only went to a couple it was a really good time and i figured out that i wanted to do this like forever like this is my thing i decided to start my own media company uh called mass hs media so mass high school media sort of like a playoff like high school game day again i was a little bit younger so i didn't really think of like creating my own thing so many of you from like sophomore year you guys probably remember this business that i did this is a while ago i hired my friend from sandwich he lives like out on the cape i know him from some other stuff we met i don't remember how we met it was a long time ago we actually built up a big reputation we got around maybe i think it was like maybe 900 to a thousand followers i don't know we had a decent following and we actually filmed for a bunch of schools sandwich i know we filmed for duxbury we filmed for cape cod academy some other schools around that area and we did pretty well and it was a lot of fun to do to spend that experience with a friend and unfortunately that didn't last for too long we only lasted for maybe not even half of a year we ended up having to take down this page because both of us were getting into arguments about who was getting posted who was getting the most likes and all this other stuff like really stupid things and i learned that having a popular instagram page or being an influencer can make you lose some of your closest friends and you can get into falling outs and it's not a good thing to do and i really learned that doing this kind of stuff that i'm doing this video stuff it's a very individualized kind of job it's uh, kind of a job where you feel alone. Like, yeah, you go out and you film for people and you talk to them, but it's like, you're kind of doing everything on your own. Like that, you're going out, you're filming, you're going back and editing. You don't really have time to do all this other stuff. And it's, you're filming alone. So it's not, not a great job if you want to be social with people, I guess. So basically what I was saying is from where I live to Amherst is super far away. It's like two and a half hours. So it was two days of traveling for that. And then I go, I film for like four to five hours. I come back another 2.5 hours and I edit for a couple hours. So that was a lot of work. Uh, not to mention it was the dead of summer. So it was 110 degrees Fahrenheit outside like every day at the highest. I'll make a whole separate video about that experience because it was super fun, but it was super tiring at the same time. And I made about $2,500 for that whole weekend. So it was a lot of money and it was a good experience for like two days, but it was very tiring. It was super hot. I almost like fell over like heat stroke at one time because I was running around with like a huge bag on my back and a camera and shooting videos. So I did that, it was super fun. I was like, wow, I really want to get paid more. So I just went on, kept creating summer videos. I was, I was like, I'll get my sports videos back up once the school starts again. And I was actually contacted after that festival by the biggest lacrosse corporation in the world. And it was Major League Lacrosse. If you guys don't know who Major League Lacrosse is, it's the NFL, NHL, MLB of lacrosse. It's the major leagues, basically. Uh, well, it is the major leagues. And they told me that they saw I was in the Boston area and they wanted me to cover the home games for the Boston Cannons uh, at Veterans Memorial Stadium. 
uh, in Quincy. And this is an unpaid internship, but it was a great experience to meet like all the players. I talked to like all the people that worked there and they actually hired me again this upcoming summer to work with them. This is a paid gig this time. There's like six games, they're gonna pay me some money to film. So after that summer with the MLL and National Cross Federation, my senior year started out and I realized I wanted to like build up a brand again out of my videos. Um, so I realized that I could, I could hire a team, I could get all this stuff done. I was more mature, I knew how to handle stuff now. And I created a Instagram page called Movement Media. This was not only going to revolve around high school sports, but also positive player experiences at the same time. So I got that going and I had some friends from Northern Mass uh, started up with me promote to the area we have like 550 followers right now so we're still getting going we got a lot of videos produced around massachusetts and we're still trying to expand during the early months of my senior year i was hired through this company well obviously my company but we we're hired being hired by like a bunch of different high school athletes creating a bunch of videos throughout and so that basically brings us to current time right now as of where i am right now i still have that company we're still doing the same thing we've moved on from some people we've brought on some new people uh we lost someone yesterday but basically that's what i'm doing right now today as you guys know in my other video i've recently been accepted into fairfield university uh, to study digital media and arts my grades didn't get me into this school however at the time i was creating all these videos and building my company my grades completely fell uh, I had like a 2.8 my senior, my junior year. Uh, I did bring them back up my senior year. I got all A's and B's last term and I'm getting A's and B's right now, so that's fine. But the junior year is the most like important year of your high school career and I had below average grades. However, I still got into my number one school, which is really cool. Uh, I know Fairfield has like a 62% acceptance rate, but I still thought it was really cool. I fell in love with the school. It wasn't like my second choice or like my safety school. Uh, some other people may think of Fairfield as a safety school, but I, I love this school. I'm probably gonna be rowing for them next year too. So that's really nice. The reason I got into this school was not because of my grades. It was more because I had found a way to support myself throughout my high school career through a job that I created by myself. I created my own business at the age of 17. I made, found a way to make money. I got hired by different people. I actually built a name for myself all around my town. So basically, pretty much everywhere I go, people know me as the video guy. Uh, I do videos for the whole school. I do videos for parents, businesses, everywhere. Um, so yeah, everyone really knows me. Uh, it's pretty cool to have a name in your town that's positive. But this kind of brings me to my most important point about this the whole reason for doing this video. So that's basically my story of how I did what I did and the journey that I had to go through. Obviously, I left out certain parts like the hardships of this job, the depression, the anxiety, the stress, everything that you go through while doing this. Uh, if you guys want a more personal video on that kind of stuff, of my journey through that, uh, I can do that too. Just leave a comment or whatever. I'll, I'll figure out a way to share it without getting too personal early on. Um, but yeah, so basically I wanted to say that school is not the most important thing in life. Like get, grades are not gonna carry you through life and it's not gonna make you successful. There's so many people in this world that are billionaires that didn't go to college. I don't know if you guys know this person, but Gary V, he's a huge entrepreneur in the entrepreneurship world. Uh, he has a podcast, radio show, all this other stuff. He's done super successful and he actually he dropped out of college and you're not gonna become the richest person in the world because you have a 4.0 gpa i know some people that have dropped out of school personally like i know people that dropped out of school and they went on to become some of the biggest videographers in the world and basically you need to realize that out in the real world even in college that people aren't gonna only look at you for the grades you got in school. Like, yeah, I picked up my grades my senior year and my GPA went up for the ha first half of the year, but that wasn't the sole reason I got accepted. They saw that I was capable. They saw that I could support myself and they want you to be well-rounded in college. That's another video I could do. I could do tips for getting into college. Uh, I had my dad help me. He's like really good at doing college stuff. He helped my sister get into her first school. He helped my cousin get into politics and all this other stuff. He's a really smart guy. He's also created his own business. Uh, he's a white guy. Uh, I was adopted by my parents, but he's really smart. He knows what he's doing. Like I can share my college tips with you guys. Basically that's my journey to success though. And that's basically what it took for me to get where I am today. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you on a public video about how much money I make and how great I am and all this stuff. But if you want more insight on how I built a business from the ground up at age 17, you can always shoot me an email. That's in my about page on my YouTube. Uh, you can DM me on Instagram. You can always ask for my number or add me on Snapchat, do whatever, reach out to me on any social media. But yeah, I'm always open to sharing more stuff with you guys. 
let me know if you enjoyed this video and i hope you guys have a good rest of your day that's basically it i'll see you guys later